Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about the new order flow features available from Vantage Crypto on vcdepth.io. We track the entire order flow process from order books to executed orders. On the site, we distinctly differentiate between order books and order flow, where order books focus on outstanding orders, which represents an asset's real-time liquidity, and order flow focuses on the executed bids and asks or ex-bids and ex-asks. Combined, this data can often determine whether volume was as a result of buying, selling, market orders, or limit orders, and can even highlight liquidations. I am going to hide order books here so we can focus on executed order flow data. Xbids and X asks are exactly what they sound like. Xbids are executed bids. This represents a sell as the seller sells at the buyer's bid price. X asks represent a buy where the buyer buys at the seller's ask price. Right now, we chart real time data, but soon we will also offer an array of other data such as moving averages to smooth charting, and provide more defined trends and crossovers. The order flow ratio, or OFR, is the same as our market depth ratio, but instead of charting the ratio between outstanding bids and asks, we track the ratio between executed bids and executed asks. The OFR provides a single value that depicts whether there is more buying or selling, and comparatively how much displayed as a percentage. If we currently have a minus 5% OFR, it means that there is currently 5% more sell orders executing than there are buy orders. We also provide the order flow information panel here, to the right of the chart. On the front page, we provide data for the global crypto market combined. There are a few major components to this panel. At the top, we show the current volume, 24 hour running average. OFR, XBIDs and X asks, followed by our large order alerts. Our large order alerts report any buy or sell order of which in its entirety is larger than 5% of the current combined active order books for that asset on the exchange that it occurs on. For example, this buy order for $200,000 on Binance represents that at the time of execution, Combined order books for Binance US dollars were less than $4 million, as a $200,000 order is 5% of $4 million. These alerts are intended to alert users of institutional investor activities and when orders are large enough to impact the asset's liquidity on the exchange they are trading on. It's also important to point out we see more large order alerts in the derivatives market. We are currently only tracking order flow for derivatives on BitMEX, but we'll be adding order flow for our other derivatives exchanges shortly. Only about half the exchanges on our site currently have order flow integrated. The others will be updated in the very near future. The last part of the order flow information panel provides a visual into the average size of the orders being processed and how recently we witnessed the order flow volume. We break the size of the orders into three categories. Small orders, less than $100, medium-sized orders, less than $50,000, and large orders, over $50,000. This breakdown is displayed visually for both buys and sells. Each section of the bar represents the amount and percent of the various sizes of buys and sells over the last 24 hours. The order flow time bar seeks to visually identify the momentum of order flow. We also separate the data into three parts for both buys and sells. The first bar represents buys or sells in the last hour, expressed as an absolute value and as a percent of all the volume over the last 24 hours. The second bar identifies buys and sells over the last six hours, and the third bar represents how much of the volume was more than six hours ago, but less than 24 hours ago. We can also jump into a specific asset. Here, we look at Ethereum. Notice we only show large order alerts for Ethereum in the order flow panel. All the data here only pertains to global order flow for the underlying asset we are looking at. We also offer an alpha version of our trading view charts with this data, and we'll be adding the additional moving averages for both our order books and order flow data in the near future.
Additionally, we also add order flow columns to the field chooser underneath individual assets and exchanges. This wraps up our video covering our new order flow data. We hope you found it useful and informative. We have some more great features and data sets coming soon. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.